What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here and another unprepared video for me in uh, Hawaii here. Literally was not expecting to make another update video in the same day. Apple has pushed out iOS 11.2.5 uh, two developers today and people were expecting this to be iOS 11.3 so it's a very unusual decision on Apple's part to skip point 3.4 point and go and point 2 of course and go straight to point 5 uh, in this beta so very unusual naming very unusual release schedule here uh, but what's new what's changed and by the way this isn't the first time that Apple has done this with the iPhone 4 a Verizon version they skipped 0.2.3 for 4.2 and went straight to 4.2.5 also was a very interesting release schedule so something Apple has done before I don't know there could be deeper reasoning below it uh, for it for whatever reason but we'll have to check that out uh, if there are any different changes in the future so upon first inspection there wasn't really anything I noticed that has changed uh, the animations oh my gosh that stuck out to me right away so doing mundane tasks actually such as composing a message uh, very fast safari browsing honestly just like really surprised me with how smooth the animations are they really are starting to utilize the iPhone 10 power here so that is a change that has also been reported by many other users so actually it's not something that I'm imagining many people are experiencing it on this beta and that's something that I really hated Apple for doing with the iPhone 10 for some reason they released it this amazing fast new device and it felt like crap was unoptimized now that seems to be improving with 11.2.5 and for such a big number update you would think they would add new features but nope there really hasn't been much uh, there's one thing and that's the AirPlay 2 references have been re-added. So if you have an Apple TV or AirPlay 2 compatible device, you'll see extra menus in certain areas of the menu. So that has been re-added. Those are the two major changes with this. Other than that, really nothing to report as far as features go. So if anything is found down the road, of course, I will be sharing that with you guys, but just a very unusual update all around. I mean, it's unlike Apple to do something like this release something and then not mention it at all and have it be such a big number and skipping all of those other updates so very interesting we'll be following this one seeing if anything is new uh, let's check out the performance see if the numbers correlate with the animation boost in any way here and i just did it uh, with 11.2.1 so we'll compare those all right so finishing up here what a day for apple actually super busy got 11.2.1 and alongside this release we actually got the new watch os beta as well i believe that's 4.2.1 5 or 4.2.2 I don't really remember also we got a recent new Mac OS beta as well and a Apple TV beta to go alongside this one so lots of new releases not many features to be found with them anyways performance is in line with uh, 4.2.1 so really wouldn't say there's much of a change there at all the uh, changes I'm feeling though are real and I love the snappiness I might update my personal one but still want to keep it on 11.1.2 for the jailbreak Anyways, guys, there it is. Just a quick little update for you. 11.2.5 is here. Not much inside of it, but uh, interesting, interesting all around. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more videos probably next week when I get back. Peace.